<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. One small triple soy latte and uh, I, I, one, one small triple soy latte and a large chai. Hot chai. One large hot. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't see you there. I didn't mean to yell in your ear. Take care. <sighs> I think that's the end of the rush. For now, you know, it comes in waves. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this one coming up. I'll take care of this one. It's fine. You can don't go take um take a break. You can take a break. Hi. <laughs> it's good to see you, Nancy. Take a break. I'm. I'm I mean, it was just been, it's been a busy day. I'm just a little exhausted. I didn't expect you to come in just now. Um, oh no, I, I would have I would have your classic ready. Uh, I can get started on that right now. No, Nancy, it's fine. You can take. No, I just um, she's a handful. That one, <laughs> that colleague. But anyhow, no, it, you're. This is perfect timing. You're, you're not holding me up at all. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I think the last rush is pretty much completed. Oh, um, we have a lot of new options, actually. Um, I'm sorry. No wonder. Um, no wonder this is. This feels a little different, right? Um, we have new stuff for you to look at. So, um, you'll see a lot of new pastries, seasonal options. Um, we have a sea salt caramel cupcake. We have a marble swirl bagel, um, and a number of different teas and coffees, and you know, um, very like, chocolatey, caramely, <laughs> rich. You know, with almondy. Ooh. I love like the amaretto choices that we have in right now. Um, actually, um, I was just finished uh, cutting up some of the samples for the next rush. Uh, hold on, where did I put those? <laughs> just a little bit scatterbrained. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, you can, you really can take take your break. You don't have to hover over my shoulder, Nancy. Um, here you go. <laughs> so, as you can see. Tiny little samples. <laughs> um, yeah, all of the almond choices are my favorites. So I guess maybe today you try something new. Maybe, or you know, I'm happy to whip up your classic order for usual. Oh no, she's dancing over there. Yeah, you. Yeah, I see you, Nancy. No, she's she's just a, a riot. That one, she. Just kind of likes to pick on me a little bit. She kind of likes to pick on me a little bit. Everybody knows. Yeah, well, now that I've pointed it out, I'm sure you're going to notice all the time. Um, <laughs> she sort of picks on me when she thinks that customers are flirting with me. And But, I mean, don't get it twisted. Um, she likes to just sort of make mountains out of molehills. It's how she gets through the day and <laughs> you know generally whatever makes you know us laugh I'm down with you know if we can laugh as much as possible then you know the hard times won't seem so hard um but in this particular case I don't know I think she just I think she just likes it when you come around is all so she's just making light of it and today I don't know today was like decent it was just I've had a couple of rude customers, but you know, for the most part, when you get rude customers, you sort of learn how to just remember, okay, like you, you learn how to kind of turn off, how to not take it personally is what it comes down to. You know, you understand, okay, they see me as a number or they're a bona fide jerk. So I need to just, you know, turn off my empathy meter as well, or my sympathy meter and just think of them as heartless robots themselves and they cut through and they get their coffee and leave you know it's you kind of learn how to like turn off how do I put this without sounding like a vampire or something <laughs> but you, you learn to just like let certain things pass you know you shake it off you, you'll get annoyed or disappointed for a second and you learn to just shake it off right away but for the most part however every blue moon people can surprise you you know like if you've had for example consistently 
reasonable customers who then come in one day and you know take out their baggage or just decide to be a jerk and you can be disappointed in people sometimes or you know sometimes people too like the goal is to get as much um, jerkification out of a transaction as possible and it holds up the line and it becomes you know drama and embarrassing and you know for some people they just like to some people just like to make other people unhappy. But anyways, you don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple customers like that today, which is more, you know, than we generally get as far as, you know, a crummy experiences a day are concerned. And like I said, you know, we have our micro moments daily, but, you know, to have like big waves of negativity like that, it's rare, but that is exactly why I'm so happy to see you. And exactly why I'm always happy to see you. You, I, I think you should probably know that just in being consistent in your positivity and in consistently treating, you know, people like people, that you make a much bigger impact than you, I think you probably understand. Oh yeah, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit disheartening in regard to like humanity, you know, to see people treat people not like people on a daily basis. It can just be really disappointing as far as like hope, <laughs> you know, is concerned and, you know, for you to consistently remind us that, you know, some people get it, you know, you know, the kind people really, that they do exist consistently and, you know, Choose, to know that certain people choose kindness every single day is it's a huge pick me up it's a huge mood boost it's a huge inspiration so thank you <laughs> oh, you look like you needed that you look a little exhausted today too I'm sorry well maybe we can maybe we can help each other feel a little bit better maybe. I don't know, I give you the employee discount. <laughs> Maybe that'll take the edge off a little bit, but if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest, I, I've, I've snuck that discount into many of your orders <laughs> by this point. Yeah, if I'm not being watched by Nancy <laughs> or my bosses, you know, but... Well, it just feels like, you know, certain people deserve just a little Certain people who dish out good deeds, I feel, deserve good deeds in return, and I just, you know, consider that, consider us even, in that regard. <laughs> um, oh, jeez. Yeah, I, Nancy, you're real funny. Really funny, Nancy. God, I'm sorry, she's so embarrassing. No, oh, she's just rude. I, and this isn't cute, this isn't funny anymore. Well, because you're not just like a number to me. You're not just like <laughs> like cute customer number 84. And, and which is not to say that 84 people <laughs> come around and flirt with me. Which is also not to say that that you're just a, a number. It was just also not to say too that you're that you're flirting with me right now. Oh my gosh, I am in so deep. <gasps> oh, I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't seem to mind. I appreciate that. <laughs> Cute customer <laughs> number 84 is what I'll call you. <laughs> no, no, who am I kidding? That would be dishonest. That would be entirely disingenuous when you would obviously, you know, if we're... If, if we're, if we're <laughs> being realistic, if we're keeping it real, you're a cute custom, customer number one. Well, you're the only cute customer that gets <laughs> the employee discount code. So, you know, I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Which, it, when I, when I <laughs> tell you that you're cute, I know there's, <laughs> there's no backpedaling out of that. You are, and I hope that you understand that just objectively. You're objectively cute. <laughs> That's a very good thing. It's a it's a compliment. No matter who you are or what you look like, people cute people across the world 
I think. <laughs> Ought to know and deserve to know that cute is a very, very positive attribute. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm making <laughs> such a fool out of myself. <laughs> Oh no, I think I needed this though. I think I really needed this distraction from an otherwise super exhausting, relatively uneventful otherwise day. It, not, which is not to say that, okay, yeah, I, I do need to stop with the disclaimers, I think. <laughs> You're not just a distraction though, I promise. <laughs> no, you are just, you are a breath of fresh air every single time you come in. Every single time, I'm not kidding, every time you walk through those doors, and not just for me, you know, for everybody that works here. Um, I guess you just have that effect on people. You bring people relief. It's really special. It's a really special quality. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Oh yeah, people might try to tell you otherwise. I once had someone tell me that I was too nice to people and I'm not making that up. <laughs> Yeah, it was someone I was seeing. I'm pretty sure it was like their attempt at a nag, you know, but you know, obviously recognizing what an asinine statement that was, it did not serve them. <laughs> I realized, oh, you're toxic. It's <laughs> noted. I'm out. <laughs> but you know, sometimes people have a way of convincing good people that their goodness is like too much or too bright. You know, it's like those old sayings, you know, about like, what is it? Dull people will try to dull other people's shine. You know, you shine too brightly for some people because they choose darkness. It's not your problem. It's never your problem if anybody tries to tell you that you're too bright or too positive or too cute. <laughs> That's their problem. And if anybody ever makes self-serving statements and if anybody ever tries to neg you on that level and it starts to just like your subconscious takes a bite out of it and it's just if you're feeling a little icky, just come find me. I will set you straight. <laughs> yeah, me and the whole staff. <laughs> you know, we've talked about you. <laughs> In what context? Well, you're cute. <laughs> I think that's pretty clear. I don't know, stupid Nancy thinks I'm like... The things that we, you know, are sort of. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. You, you. I'm, I'm sorry. I've completely. I've taken up all this time out of your day, and you came in probably just. Well, at first I thought you came in for your classic order, but you know we have all these new options, and you need time to look at the menu. So. Um. <laughs> no, I'm just. You're making me a little bit flustered. Well, you're not really looking at the menu. You're looking at me. <laughs> oh my God, Nancy's gonna have a field day with this. No, I don't mean to keep referencing her. I'm just shy. <laughs> well, no, I'm not an inherently shy person. I think that's pretty obvious, but you have that effect on me. It seems, so it seems. And I don't like it, but do not get it twisted. I do like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think the cat's out of the bag on that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. And please, please tell me if this is, I don't wanna, and, and that's not to say you owe me a thing, you know? It, I'm not expecting any reciprocal feelings. I still want you to feel m even more comfortable coming in for, you know, your daily order because, you know, I'm sure a lot of people like you and that doesn't mean that you need to change the way you go about your day. And if anything, I hope that just makes you feel a little bit special and even a little safer, you know, to come into this particular place and know you're probably going to get the employee discount and, and your order will be in good hands and you'll be met with positive vibes and... You know, I don't expect and don't expect anything out of you. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you wanted things to change a little bit. 
Um, oh, we could start. Why don't we start now? Um, my my break um, is is actually. Oh my gosh, um, my break is now. <laughs> I completely lost track of time. Yeah, um, I have a little break, and we could take a seat and enjoy some one-on-one -on -one time, get to know each other a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yes, I see you, Nancy. Thank you. <sighs> that sly fox. <laughs> How about this? Pick your favorite table. I'll be out in a second with um, some complimentary goodies for the two of us, and we can do a sampling together. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Um, just pick your favorite spot, and I'll be out in just a second. Don't let anybody take my seat now. <laughs> 